Welcome to the JCMS Web Basic Training Video Tutorial Program. In this video, I'll show you how to schedule a mouse use and also how to view that mouse use on the scheduling calendar. Let's get started. Once you've logged into JCMS Web, click on Manage Colony in the top navigation. Then click on Mouse Scheduling in the left navigation. Select a mouse ID by entering some mouse criteria. And click Search. Select a mouse ID and then click OK. Select a use from the drop down list. I'll select a clinical exam. You can manually enter the age or you can calculate from the plug date and date post conception. For usage, I'll choose in days, two days, and then I'll go ahead and save the mouse. You'll see that the clinical exam use appears on the right side of the screen. I'll go ahead and enter another use. I'll do clinical exam at five days, and I'll schedule another clinical exam at seven days. I'll click Save. So I have my three clinical exams set. I'll go ahead and also schedule a body weight exam at three days and I'll schedule another body weight exam at five days and click Save. I'll schedule another body weight exam at seven days old and click Save. Now I can select a new mouse by changing the mouse ID and scheduling a mouse use for this mouse. So now I'll go to the calendar and see what work needs to be done. The calendar is located under Reports and mouse scheduling calendar. I'll click this checkbox which will ask the database to show me which weans need to happen and then I'll go ahead and select some mouse uses. I'll select the two that I scheduled. You, you can select the owners or work groups. You, you can select by strain and then click display calendar. You can see that the mouse uses are in yellow. If I don't want to do this exam today, all I have to do is drag it to a different day and that use will be rescheduled. I don't have any weans on this calendar, but if I did, they would appear in a pink box. Uses appear in the yellow box, as you can see. So once I have completed the mouse uses for a specific mouse, I can click on one of these yellow boxes to record the event details, or I can go back to Manage Colony click on mouse scheduling again, enter the mouse that I completed the uses on. I can fill in an actual date, so if I pushed it off two days, I can change the date. I can check the done checkbox. I can enter any comments, any issues that I found. Then I can enter the observed data I noticed while doing the exam. And then I click save, and that information would be saved in the database. So as you can see, the mouse scheduling and mouse scheduling calendar is a convenient way to manage and view your work schedule. That concludes our training for mouse scheduling. For more information or to post questions, visit our website at colonymanagement.jax.org.